Hey guys, this is the Nobby Junior S, and if you ever have problems um, like sluggish behavior or you can't get it to power on, um, I'm going to show you a few things that you can do. Um, first, I'm going to walk you through how to do a reboot, and then I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset from parent mode, and then a factory reset when you can't get into parent mode or you can't get the tablet to power on. So first, let's start with the tablet powered all the way off. So press and hold the power button and select power off. If you can't get that to work, if maybe the touch screen isn't responding, hold down on the power button and just keep holding it down until the tablet completely shuts down. Okay, so once it's powered off, we know it's powered off, you're going to press and hold the volume plus button and then press and hold the power button and hold both of them together until the system menu comes up on the screen. See how it flashed? For some reason, I have to do this one or two times. So if it does this to you, press the volume plus again. Well, and then there it goes. It comes on. But if it doesn't, sometimes I've had to hold the volume plus button and the power button down a couple of times to get it to work. Okay, so once you get the system menu, you're going to press the volume plus button to scroll through the options. Okay, so right now you want the last option that is boot normally and then press the volume minus button to select it. And now the tablet should boot back into Navi mode. Okay, so give me a second to sign into mommy mode and I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset from mommy mode or daddy mode for you guys out there. Okay, so we'll just call it parent mode. All right, so now I'm in parent mode and down here at the bottom you should see settings. So tap on that to open up your settings. And I'll tell you, if you don't have this icon down here, then just tap on the cluster of, of squares there and then search through the menu until you see settings, which I passed it up so it's down here. Whichever way, however, you can access the settings menu. All right, and now you're going to scroll down until you find backup and reset. Tap on that factory data reset. Now, before you do a factory reset, um, if you can get into parent mode, you'll you'll want to back up your apps, possibly. I mean, it's up to you. And you'll definitely want to back up any pictures that you want to save that your kids have taken or videos that they've taken with the Navi Junior. Um, so what I use is an app called ES File Explorer, and it allows me to use my Google Drive, or you can use Dropbox, and it allows me to upload my uh, pictures and videos to my cloud storage. You can also back up your apps using ES File Explorer and save those to your drive too. It makes it much faster on down re-downloading them, so you don't have to keep going to each app store to find them. Okay, so let's continue with the reset. So at this step, you just tap on Factory Data Reset and Reset Tablet. Then erase everything. Okay, so now it brings you back to the welcome screen. And from here, you can go ahead and sign back in. I'm not going to go through these steps yet. I'll go through them at the end after we do the other factory reset. Okay, so for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and power this back off. Okay, so now if you cannot power the tablet on, um, I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset from it being powered off. So we'll go through the same steps like we were doing the reboot. So volume plus and the power button okay so let's do it again all right so then the volume plus button scrolls through but right now we're just going to stay on Android recovery mode, so it's the very first option. So all you need to do is press the volume minus button to select it. Okay, at this step, you're going to press the volume minus button and the volume plus button 
Right, when you release, the menu should pop up. If it doesn't, try it again, the volume minus and the power button. All right, so now we're going to use the volume minus button to scroll down to wipe data factory reset and the power button to select it. Okay, volume minus button to select yes, delete all user data and the power button to select it. Right now, Reboot System Now is highlighted, so select or press the power button to select it. Okay, so now we're back to the welcome screen. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get signed back in. Um, if you've already created your Navi ID and password. So hit next, hit setup. Right now you're gonna set up your Wi-Fi. Okay, on this screen, if you look right here in the middle above the 50 cents, you'll see already have an account, sign in. So that's where you want to tap. Okay, so now you'll enter your Nobby ID and password, and that's all you have to do. It'll take you right into Nobby mode, and you're all set.